denied a Suffolk woman is demanding answers after she was told her child couldn't get on the school bus this morning and eventually was left behind. Now the mother says she didn't find out until her son called her. Down your size, Gina Arevalo spoke with the school district to find out what happened, Gina. Tom and Anita, the school district says it was a miscommunication that shouldn't have happened. The mother says the mix-up involved a bus pass and she wants to know why the school never contacted her. LaToya Hall tells me she was at work when she got a call from her 11-year-old son. My son called, FaceTime, FaceTimed me and said, Mom, I wasn't allowed to get on the bus. I immediately was like, what do you, what do you mean? A family friend who lives nearby saw the bus drive off and drove Hall's son to school. Hall went to the school and spoke with the principal. I was terrified. I was upset. I was worried. Like, if they do that to him, they could do that to anybody. She did say, yes, that wasn't right. Um, she, she expressed her concern was she was sorry. Hall says her son had recently started riding that school bus, but it wasn't yet official. Hall says her son had a written note with an emergency contact, but says she spoke with a school employee about it Tuesday afternoon. She stated to me that she would give him the transportation form. I was waiting on the form to come home. A school district spokesperson told us in an email there was a miscommunication between the transportation supervisor and the driver. The district says it does not turn away students from the bus in the morning unless the school tells the driver otherwise. For example, if a student is suspended. We asked the school district twice. Is a parent or guardian contacted prior to the bus leaving the stop if a student isn't allowed on? We didn't get an answer. What's her protocol? Do she just close, close the door and leave the kid out there and not radio in? Someone could have called me. Um, they could have taken him to the school and then called me. The district says students cannot get on a bus to leave school for home unless it's their assigned bus or they have a bus pass. Hall tells me her son was able to ride the bus home from school this afternoon, and she now has a copy of the transportation form to officially get her son assigned to that bus. Gina Arevalo, 10 on your side.